Assalamu alaikum. So here we are again in Dim Cave, just so many beautiful locations to film and to experience. Behind me, it's interesting, it, it reminds me of frosting on a cake on this formation. In this cave, we've got soda straws, we've got popcorn formations, we've got um, you know, various drip formations, we've got curtains, um, columns, organ formations, stalactites, stalagmites, um, so many different amazing things. Now, I wanted to, to just talk to you about some potential practices if you get a chance to go into a wild cave. You can also do this in a closet, blocking off all light, covering your eyes, and spending a few, a few hours in the darkness. This is a worthwhile experience. Um, so, but, but it's even more beneficial in an actual wild cave. Um, I know one of, one of my, you know, a brother that I, I really appreciate, he used to go and spend nights in caves um, and pray in the caves, you know, make salah there. Um, and anyway, it's like, and he highly recommends it. Um, anyway, so when you go into a wild cave, what can you do? So go into all of your senses. So you're, first you're going to be, you're contemplating your mind because you're going to have to confront your fears and your imaginations. Um, your fears of, 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 of being cold, of being lost, of different apparitions that may emerge that um, ultimately are not real, that are, you know, they're, they're mind created. Um, so one of the things that you can do is, so focus on the different sensations. You can, um, many caves will have winds that go through them. So this is a different way of contemplating the breath. It's contemplating... Um, the outer breath, the breath within the earth, as well as the breath within. And, and um, so you can contemplate light and darkness through, through visuals, you know, like as you're entering into the cave on the outside of the cave, you can observe what's there or if there's lighting in the cave, you know, with your flashlight at first or your headlamp. Um, you observe and explore. And so you're studying with your eyes, you're studying the full range, reading it like a book um, and, and observing it in a systematic manner taking in all the details, all, you know, all the, the textures, the colors, the shapes, the sizes, um, observing with, 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 you know, tactily, you know, through the, through sensor, you know, through your skin, um, through, um, so noticing, again, the sense, you know, the textures, the smoothness, the rough textures, um, the temperature, the, the, the heat or the lack of heat. Like, so for instance, if you go into caves in, in North America or Europe, they're typically going to be very chilly and cold all year long. Now, if you go into caves in, say, uh, India and Southeast Asia, they're going to be very humid and hot. So it's a different kind of experience. So you can actually, as you sit and meditate and observe your body while you're praying, observe your body while you're sitting in contemplation, you'll notice like, you know, like the sweating or the chill. You will notice the, the feeling of, of cloth on your skin or, or the empty spaces, you know, the airflow that's moving there. Um, but what's interesting is to sit once, it, once you're in total darkness and you close your eyes, it's like the, dark, the, the deepest dark that you've ever encountered. And you sit there and say you're totally by yourself or you're with a, with a, a, a partner who also is committed to, to really going as deeply as possible on this path, inshallah. So you're sitting in the darkness and you're just going to observe. So you're just going to, like, we're going to do listening meditation now. And so we're in complete darkness with our eyes closed. And um, there are no lights in there. You want to be away from the cave entrance. And, you know, as, as deep in the cave as you can go, actually. And um, make sure that you check for safety ahead of time. But now you're going to sit and you're going to scan. You're going to listen. Listen to what's happening straight in front of you. What's happening to your right. Move in a circle around, observing the sounds. 360 degrees around, you know, above you, in front of you, below you, behind you, above you. So you want to go and then you... You're listening all around you. You're listening to, you know, you're going to hear water drip dropping. You're going to hear water running in the cave. You're going to hear maybe rocks falling. You might hear little, little, you know, maybe there are mice in the cave or there, there are creatures in the cave. So you're listening and you want to sit fearlessly. You want to confront your fears. You want to experience a deeper level of, of, of reality, of your own reality, of how Allah has made you to actually be deeply interconnected with the inner. So you are the, your heart is the juncture where the outer and the inner meet, where the two seas meet, so to speak. You, you are the stone where the sage sits, all right? So consider this and, and go as deep in, and be as present with listening as possible. 
So you can actually do over a number of hours, you can contemplate our relationship with sight and our over-dependence on sight. And um, also you can, you start to at some point see with an inner eye. You know, you learn to hear with an inner ear. The heart is, is so much more than we've imagined it to be. I'm not talking the physical heart. Um, I'm talking the mind within the mind, so to speak. And it's, 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 this is such an amazing, beautiful path. And caves play a much bigger role in our human spirituality than we have ever considered. And so consider this and have personal experiences with this. Don't just let people tell you what something is or isn't. Know for yourself. Seek truth wholeheartedly. Be deeply devoted on this path. Be devoted to truth completely. You know, sacrifice your false conceptualizations on the altar of truth. You know, bismillah your nafs. Give it all to Allah. Be empty so that you can experience truth as it actually is. Go into that dark cave, that dark closet. Pour your heart out. Sincerely seek truth. Ask for right guidance. Ask for forgiveness. You are loved and appreciated. Until next time, it's your brother Ilya Seen from the Cave State, reporting from Al-Kaf country, this beautiful Kars region of Anatolia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.